All right, we're back with another IPA Summarize video. Might as well continue my most popular series. I mean, look at those views that are absolutely amazing for me, but only makes up 0.0000284454242% of all these sarcastic productions total views. They're my favorite YouTube channel, by the way. This video is going to be pretty short as I'm just counting other sounds that aren't included in these three boxes. Also, I expect you know what I'm talking about here. So if you don't know or you need a refresher on the IPA, I recommend that you watch my first video on the IPA, which will tell you everything you need to know for this video. That's how you self promote. It would be nice if you watched my other two videos on the subject, but it isn't crucial to understanding this video. In case you need to know, here are all the technical words that I've used in this video and where you can find what they mean. Most of them are just links to my other videos. Alveolar, alveolopalatal, approximate articulation broad transcription, coronal, ejective, epiglottal, slash pharyngeal, flap, fricative, labial, lateral, narrow transcription, non-sibilant, palatal, plasio articulation, plosive, postalveolar, sibilant, velar, voice, voiceless, slash unvoiced. Sadly, I'm not going to sit in the chair for this video. I know, I'm sad too. It's so comfortable. If you can get your hands on one, I highly recommend it. So down here, we have some other symbols. These aren't too interesting. We have the voiceless labial velar fricative, the voice labial velar approximant, the voice labial palatal approximant, the voiceless epiglottal fricative, the voiced epiglottal fricative, the epiglottal plosive, the voiceless alveolo palatal fricative, the voice alveolo palatal fricative, the alveolar lateral tap, and the simultaneous voiceless post alveolar fricative, and the voiceless velar fricative. Epiglottal consonants are just pharyngeal consonants. Here are their sounds. Hua, a hua. Wa. The ones I want to talk about aren't in the sheet though, but they are real sounds in the IPA. Ponder this. Why isn't the ch sound here? Based on the qualifications I listed in the first video, that in some language somewhere around the world, that there are two words that are only differentiated by this sound, it's a different sound. For example, wash and watch. The only difference between them is sh and ch. So it should be there, right? Well, it's not there because it's actually a combination of two consonant sounds. The ch digraph isn't a very good way to represent that sound. Try making a K sound, the voiceless velar plosive, and an H sound, the voiceless glottal fricative at the same time. What you'll actually be doing is aspirating the K sound. Aspiration just means that there's a little puff of air when you make the sound. Top versus stop, for example. Do you hear the difference? It's fine if you don't. Something English speakers don't notice a lot. I say that a lot. The sound ch is a combination of t, the voiceless alveolar plosive, and sh, the voiceless post alveolar fricative. Think about it. T, ch. Combine the two and you get but an affricate isn't just the combination of two sounds. All affricates involve two sounds, though. An affricate is basically a plosive combined with a fricative, generally with the same place of articulation, which tends to be coronal. English has two affricates, ch and j, represented by the ch digraph and the letter j, respectively. So I know, in the IP, j represents the sound that y has in English. I find it funny that ch and j are the voiceless and voice variants of the same combination of two sounds that exists in English. Also, affricates use this tie bar going over the top so that you know that it's a combination of two sounds. If we didn't have this line, they would just be t, sh, and d, j. There are, of course, more affricates than just these two. Affricates can be divided into groups you're familiar with. Sibilant, non-sibilant, lateral, and ejective. The ones on the left are voiceless, and the ones on the right are voiced, like in the normal IPA consonant chart. You can only really have two voiceless or two voice consonants together. So while these sounds exist, they have diacritics, so I'm not talking about them in this video. These are the only ones we care about right now. Anyway, here they are. A -tza, -za, a -za. Cha, a -cha. Je, a -je. Cha, a -cha. Da. A da, cha a cha, ja a ja, fa a fa, cha a cha, ja a ja, ka a ka, ka a ka, ka a ka, ka a ka, ha a ha, cha a cha. Cha, a cha, cha, 
Oh god. I also just want to recommend to you the sources I use for some IPA keyboards and sounds I use. They'll be linked in the description. There's one more thing I need to tell you about though. The end screen I use in my videos is inaccurate. It will be pronounced like this according to broad and narrow transcription. Thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing. And I've updated it accordingly. This is where I leave you, my dear viewer. Enjoy the new end screen. But next time, we really are covering diacritics. Wow, a video I can finally get out on time. If this is getting out on time. Then again, I wrote the script for this video immediately after posting my most recent video, and this video took less time to make due to its short length. Now, I truly have to go. My videos don't write, record, draw, edit, and publish themselves. Though that would be interesting. Goodbye, my beautiful watchers. Man, I am so happy I was able to get that in there.